You need to find a piece, too. Where am I going to find that? We got to talk to... Wait, wait, wait. That's the piece. Right there. Three working now. One more to go. I gotta get out of here. Where are you going? Up. This was definitely a trial. Hmm. Just think when we play the Sherlock Holmes, how difficult this going to be for me. <laughs> I'm just going to accuse of everybody. Just everybody. came in. Good thing I didn't block the entire door, huh? No one's really noticed me just messing around with all this stuff either. It's all these people around. Where are you going? Come back here. I think this is the last one. That's right, Kate Walker. You have to go back and activate the piano on the square like the rector asked you. Oh boy. Better not ask me how to play the pi uh, do the piano. Any other extras? Just play it. It looks like this wheel is designed to activate the piano's engine, thanks to the dynamo effect, Kate Walker. Then I guess I'm gonna have to put my thinking cap on again. Oh, you didn't already? <laughs> that or she's saying I'm dumb. All right. Okay, the sheet music is in place. Need to do the lever? I can't play. The engine is off. Well, I got lay lady. It hurted. Driving me nuts. 
That doesn't work. Of course it won't. That would be too easy. Missing something? I can't play. The engine is off. Yeah, I thought this thing, from what it did before, turned it on. That doesn't work. Oh, wait. What's this? Aha! Aha! That doesn't work. Oh! Why must you do that? Poor little thing. There is no need to get sentimental, Kate Walker. <laughs> the automaton was made for a specific purpose. It has no notion of sentiment. Indeed, I would go as far to say that it was a basic monofunctional automaton. Unlike some of us, more evolved automatons, built to serve several purposes. All right. That doesn't work. Yes, and built to serve several purposes. <laughs> Off you go now. I see. You still haven't lost any of your irritating <laughs> habits, Kate Walker. Look on the bright side, Oscar. Thanks to you, the piano works now. Well, hurry up and make use of it like the rector said. Why does the cellist in here look like the girl from the movie Kick-Ass? I believe that's the movie. That's what she reminds me of.
Is everything all right, Kate Walker? It's the same. Exactly the same. I beg your pardon? The song I just played with the automatons, Vaughan's hymn? It's exactly the same melody as the one my mom's music box used to play. I used to listen to it all the time when I was a kid. We never did find out what it was. And finding it today represents a major breakthrough because... Because it means that there must be a link between Vaughan, my mom, and probably Dana, too. Dana, who looks so much like me. Ah, a family connection, then. I don't know, but it's possible. And you can be sure as hell that I'm going to find out as soon as I've picked up Dana's trail again. Come on, Oscar. Our dear Mahler owes us a file. Did I already mention how humiliating <laughs> I think this is? Oh, you did, Oscar. Well, thank you, you Moonster. Did. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we get out of here before the cops come. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed your concert so much. <laughs> now I can retire fulfilled. Glad to have been of service. I believe you have a file for me. Of course, of course. <laughs> Here it is. Dana Rose, just like you asked. Thanks. At last. This is definitely Dana's file. Now, the address. Dana's home address in 1937. A detached house, it seems. Number 20, Brucke del Nebel. Hmm. The Bridge of Mists, huh? Found what you were looking for? I think so. Well, thank you. And goodbye. No, thank you, Fraulein. Illegal activity. I missed it popping up. It's like really quick. Take the tram to the bridge of mists. Okay. I think I've ever had to get to the tram. It's this way. It throws me off because it changes the camera angle. The stairs are hard. <laughs> Come on, Kate. it's off to the right. She doesn't run downstairs. That's just asking too much. Yep, there it is. Go.
say, this is a very unpleasant way of traveling, Kate Walker. I know, Oscar. I promise I'll let you out as soon as possible, okay? Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Okay, Oscar. Now we have to find Dana's old house. Do you recall the number, Kate Walker? According to her registration form from the Music Academy, it was number 20. The bridge is exactly the same as it was back in the 1930s. Except that it's cleaner. It looks almost new, as if it had been renovated. Go look at other things first. Thirteen. Fifteen. Okay. Other side of the street. Eighteen. There's number 20, Dana's old house. Is any extra stuff I'm supposed to be doing? Find the latest news of Wagen. Supposed to talk to somebody? A book about Wagen's history during the war. Maybe it could be useful later. Oh, the end. The end of the road. All right. Maybe somebody I would talk to. Don't look at. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? It looks like the residents on the bridge are pretty mad at the town council. Love our bridge of mist. Outside and in. We in the underside bridge of mist welfare committee hereby protest against the council policy to turn Vaughan into a museum town. How are they going to do this? By granting public funding uniquely for exterior renovation with the aim of attracting as many low-cost chain stores as possible. This unfair policy is a detriment to the homeowners and our quality independent shops and the craftsmen and women of the Bridges and Mist District. Why should we all care? Because Bridge Dix District proper, uh, property owners are having to live and work in insalubrious conditions. Never heard of that word. And this desperate, repeated appeals of the council to set up a fair funding program that covers interior renovation. Let the council continue with their unfair policy. There will soon be no residents left in the bridge district. There will be nothing but uh, pretty facades, hollow shells, cheap souvenir shops. 
what to do next to maintain the community spirit and quality independent shop selling true Vagen craftsmanship. We petition the council to urgently set up an in, in, in interior renovation funding program that puts us Vageners first. It should be noted that the only previous funding for the Bridge District interior renovation dates back just after World War II. It was hurriedly carried out following a partial destruction of the bridge during the liberation of Vagen. Today, the vast majority of the bridge properties are unfit for human habitation. Join our lobby of interior renovation funding for our historic bridge buildings. Meeting at 10 a.m. Monday, November 21st. Keep our community safe and our beautiful town alive. Bridge and Miss Welfare Community and Residents and Independent Retailer Shop. And da, 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 for more information. The other side of this? No. Go down. Yeah, again. Storm warning. To all inhabitants of Vagen, a severe storm is expected to hit the town from this evening during the night. The municipality recommends everyone to remain in their homes with the shutters firmly shut and cancel or postpone any plans going out. All cultural and outdoor activities, especially those on Dombre and the surrounding mountains, are prohibited by municipal decree for extendable duration of 24 hours. The municipality of Vagen, Department of Tourism, Culture and Recreation. Protests in the neighborhood and a big storm coming tonight. I sure wouldn't want to be in the mayor's shoes right now. Anyway. Anyway. Who cares about the mayor? Go talk to the saleswoman. Like Good and talk, Fraulein. Like them birds. On holiday in the region, Fraulein? Just passing through. Well, welcome to my little gift shop. Frau Heigel at your service. I must say you have a beautiful shop, Frau Heigel. Thank you, Fraulein. All our souvenirs are made for excellence, as we like to say here, all by local craftsmen. Were you looking for something in particular? Well, I'm actually looking for someone, not something. Someone who used to live in this house, and I was wondering if you could help. Well, there were quite a few owners before I bought the shop last autumn, so I can't really... So her name was Dana Rose. She lived here before the war. I was hoping to find some kind of trace of her here, so I could continue my search. I see. Well, I have heard of the roses, but I can't say if there's anything left of them inside the house. But don't you live here? No. My husband and I live in the suburbs. You see, the bridge was sacked just before the war, during the pogrom against the Vagarans. Oh, truly awful events. And then the neighborhood was bombed, just after the war during the liberation. And many of the houses were damaged, including this one. They were hastily renovated after the war, but they remain mostly derelict. You mentioned a pogrom against this neighborhood's vagrant community. Can you tell me more? As much as anyone who knows anything about Vargen, I guess. It happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. A few months after Austria and Ostertal were annexed by the Brown Shadow. What happened? Well, the Brown Shadow organized riots against Vagarans on false pretexts. It led to pogroms throughout all the annexed countries, including this house. Were the Roses home when it all happened? Like I said, Fraulein, I don't know, but I hope not.
Well, it doesn't look like the house was damaged from what I can see. Your shop is charming and so is the rest of the district. Thank you. That's because after the initial renovation, the council financed major rehabilitation work on the facades. But if the truth be told, they left the proprietors to foot the bill for our interiors. That's why my husband and I had to spend all our savings so that the shop interior shows the same high standard that we demand of our suppliers. That's a shame. Yes. And if the council persists in refusing to help fund the renovation works, there won't be any residents left on the bridge, let alone independent quality stores like mine. Quality. There'll be nothing left but bland franchise stores, like the one further along the bridge or on the musical square. So between the pogrom, the bombing, and the whole house being renovated, there's little chance of me finding any trace of the roses. It's not quite like that. To be honest, we didn't have the funds to renovate the rest of the house. So we used the upper floors for storing. Really? And now that you mention it, I do recall coming across old photographs from before the war, here and there in the house. The successive owners didn't want to throw them out, and I suppose they must have left them there. Would you mind if I went upstairs to take a look? Unless you would kindly bring the photos down yourself. Well, I can hardly leave the shop unattended while I go... I don't even know you, Fräulein. I see. In that case, would you mind if I had a look upstairs myself? Don't take it personally, Fräulein. But I don't know you enough to trust you. I'm very sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fräulein, I have a customer. I'm going to break in. That's I conjecture that you were inefficient in trying to persuade the shopkeeper, Kate Walker. How are you going to access the upper floors now? I don't know, Oscar. Use the crystal ball By here. getting creative, I guess. I conclude I can trust you on that score, Kate Walker. Made in Wagen. How am I getting upstairs? see me he's only facing my direction it's right in Frau Heigl's line of vision too I'm gonna have to draw her away if I want to sneak through that service door to the upper floors roll something breakable If I could manage to draw Frau Heigl this way, I'd be able to get through the service door and to the staircase without her noticing. But how? That's great. It won't work. Oh. That doesn't work. No, I don't think so. Better try something else. All right. Your clock's ticking. Can you use a clock to do it? I don't want to exit. I don't want to look at that. 